Hello and welcome to the highlights of match 2 of the Zim Afro T10. It's the Cape Town Semp Army and Durban Kalandas locking horns. Quick look at the sides. Being led by Parthip Patel are the Cape Town Semp Army and Craig Irvin is the captain of Durban Kalandas with lots of stars from around the world shaping up the 11 for both sides. Toss was won by Durban Kalandas and they decided to bat first. Let's join the action as the two openers come out to bat. Here we go. Balling. Yeah, he gets a little bit of like drift as well, doesn't he? Almost swing. Ah, oh, don't even bother. Pace, inside edge, first boundary. Yeah, I don't mind it, even though it's got a bit of width on it and it's easily put away for a maximum. I don't mind the fact that he's trying to bowl it into the surface. Pulled aggressively over mid-wicket. Got into his length early, Cypher. He's a powerful player. Oh, does he get enough? Does he get enough? Yes! And runs away. Short, fine leg. Look at the back lift, very much Fafdu Plessy, outside edge, an expensive over. Lovely shot from Cypher, used the pace that was on offer, two men back, and gets it in between. Such a strong shot, such a strong shot, that's gone over. Cover for a six. Wow, he's a strong individual. He's absolutely creamed us over cover for six. Does this clip? It doesn't clip the bat, but it's going to run away. Definitely going the wrong line here. This will run away for four leg bites. You're not stopping it. You cannot stop it. That's why he is not an easy man to bowl at. Literally stand there, wait for it, and smash it out of the park. Set in the surface, he picked it early, and the Kookaburra has departed. This will just run away. Bottom edge past the two fielders that are behind square on the leg side. Another boundary. Can you keep it in the park? Answer, no. Tossed up, massive six. There's 73 for none and we're not even finished five overs. But this is not the response you want. Seifert has done this. Slow ball, short, he's picked it early. And wow, that has Kennedy out of here onto the rooftop. Talk about two wickets. Is this the first one? Yes, it is. He's got his man, Majib. It's a very good catch in the deep. Looks leg side as he has most of the innings. And it's the other one. Clever bit of bowling. This is up high. I think it's going to evade everyone and go for four. Oh, that's hit hard. Powerful. Probably one of his better shots this evening from Zazai. This is wide again. Pace off as the man underneath it and takes a very good catch. So good bowling. Little semi across the offside, but he drags him even wider. Yes, it's a full toss, but he took him to his B game and he hit it straight on long off stroke. as clean as you like in the slot and that's it Fali well then and you said he was a clean striker and there's an example of it and that goes big has he got enough of it and I think he has just short and wide we're gonna scamper through could be a run out should be a run out in his <laughs> more frustration from the fact that he's been hit for 26 of his last over, 46 from two, with the Durban Kalandas. So at the end of 10 overs, it's Durban Kalandas who manage 126 for three.
Tim Seifert with his 49 of just 22 set the tone and got them to a flying start along with Hazratullah Zazai who got 38 of 25. And in the end, Asif Ali bringing in the finishing touch, 17 of 6, helped the side get to 126 for 3. Bowlers went for runs, Karim Jannat none for 46 in his two overs, the wicket takers Mujib one for 12 and Tom Curran one for 11. So 127 to get in the 10 overs, let's join the action as the Samp Army comes out to bat. Wrapped on the pad, and Tyre says no, not out. Yeah, you're playing with fire if you're bowling that line and down the leg with fine leg inside. You're asking for runs against your name. He's the, hit that hard, just beats the fielder. Now this race is always going to be won by the ball. Shot clears a mid on and over to the way to a boundary. Nicely done, slowing it down, he's still put back to it, and the ball's just racing away to the boundary. Yeah, that's the edge, he has gone first wicket. So finally, Brad Evans has the last laugh, he hit two boundaries in the over, and they have got the first kill. That's gone high in the air, and that will be safe because there's no one in the deep, and it doesn't need anyone because it's gone for a maximum. How tough is that shot over extra cover? As you see, into the surface. This is well played, really well played. Wasn't any pace on that ball, got it past backward point, and this ran away. Yeah, he had to do something. Pressure was building, two dot balls, and then now attacking, coming down, a boundary. Big shot, two men in the deep. One of them is going for it, and got him. He took them on, the only two men out there on the onside. He just comes across it. Biggie's part, 68 meters. And Mazai with a good catch. Oh, that's got to be out. That's got to be out. Yes. First ball, reverse. And here out goes Sean Williams. And you'd say absolutely it did. In the air. Short fine leg is underneath it. Another wicket. High into the night sky. Pretty easy catch from Zondo. Can't play them though. Just uh, went leg stump. Tried to open up the offside. He's gone first ball. He just didn't really see that, I don't think. Rush for pace. Ball didn't quite get up. Got hold of this one as part of Patel. Has that gone all the way? Inside edge, this will run away. Brad Evans, there's not a lot you can do as a bowler. Nearly got the perfect York, it's squeezed out. And he hits a few big ones, a bit like that. Has he got enough of it? No, he hasn't. And it's gone down. This one is just a little fuller. Talk about in the slot. And he bowls that one right in the slot to finish the eighth. This was full shot. Cracking shot down the ground from Partiv. A little bit too full with mid-off and mid-on up. And he crashes that one away. There's one. Has that gone all the way? There we go again, there we go again, straight over us in the commentary box end, straight to the golf course. There's a six, I was just going to say, they need a six, they've got a six. Partiv Patel. What you can't do is give away boundaries like that, it's a beautiful shot. 
It's really well played, deep in the crease. Over extra cover. Cape Town are hitting back hard here. We'll finish it with a boundary. Hit back by Partey Patel. They finish the 10 overs, 118 for five. The Urban Calanders will win the game by eight runs. At the end of 10 overs, it's 118 for five. What Sump Army got, they didn't get off to a good start and were struggling to keep up the pace. In the end, Karim Jannat scored 30 of 13 along with the captain. Parthi Patel got 37 of 14, just closing in the gap and getting to 118 for five. Bowlers, two for 18 for George Lind and two for 14 for Omar Zai helped the side keep the opposition to 118 for five, eventually winning this match by eight runs. Quick look at the match summary. Durban Kalandas won the toss, 126 for three, with Seifert 49 of 22. In reply, Cape Town Sump Army 118 for five, with captain top scorer 37 not out. Durban Kalandas scored their first two points by winning this game, the margin of eight runs. Hope you've enjoyed the highlights of match two of the Zimafro T10. Until next time, it's goodbye.